Hello, this is Martin with My IELTS Tutor. I want to thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to start our lessons on general writing task one, the letter. So basically today's lesson I'm going to give you an introduction to the letter and uh, give an overview and what to expect from it. So let's begin. Now for task one uh, for general writing, uh, you need to write a letter of at least 150 words. You have 20 minutes to do this task and the task tests your ability to engage in personal correspondence, request and provide general facts and information, uh, express needs, wants and, and dislikes, and express opinions such as viewpoints or complaints. Now, it's important to know that a letter has a specific tone. And there's three different tones of the letter that you'll have to uh, figure out when you do the task. Uh, these are informal or personal, uh, semi-formal, and formal. And so I'm going to talk about what these tones imply. Now, informal letters, now before I begin, tone really uh, depends on who you write and purpose and also purpose for the letter so you know informal uh, letters if we look at uh, they're to a person you have a close personal relationship such as a family member or close friend the content of the letter letter is either a so, something a, a social or personal situation such as planning a visit or invitating invitation to visit and, and things like that. Now for semi-formal, this is to a person you have a close personal relationship. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, or a work colleague. And the content is something serious, such as an apology, or it's uh, a formal situation. It could be for uh, work or health related issues. Or it could be maybe inviting to a wedding formal announcement of a wedding and invitation to that. So that's uh, semi-formal. Now formal, formal letters are always to a person who has, who you know that has, um, that you have a formal, formal relationship. This is usually someone who has authority over you, such as a supervisor or landlord, or it could be someone you don't know such as a government official or a store manager, for example. Now the content is uh, for these are situations that are either serious or formal, such as making a complaint, requesting for information or services, uh, educational or vocational contacts, such as requesting transcripts or for an interview. So those are the uh, three types of tones that you need to uh, understand to write your letter. Now, I mentioned purpose. Now, letters have a purpose and you're given basically given that in most common aims of a, a letter for the task that you're given. You could be asked to write about a complaint for something, invitation to something, applications or resignations, say resignations from a job or applying for a job, requests, uh, making arrangements, explanations, informative, so you're t t talking about your life, kind of a newsletter style, and then apology, making an apology. And so those are the, um, the to different tones of the letter, and those are the uh, purposes of the letter. Now in our next lesson, I'm going to go in much deeper into the letter and what more to expect. But this particular lesson, I want to make sure that you understood what the tone and purpose of the letters are. That way, when you understand what those two things are, then it becomes easier with practice to write good letters. So that's it for today. I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>